Hi, how's everybody out there in slot car land this week? Um, bringing to this video a day early because I don't think I'm gonna have time to do this tomorrow. Got church and my youngest son's birthday party tomorrow, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to, to do this tomorrow. So we're gonna do it today. So we're gonna start on the car build today. We're gonna do a little, a few little tiny things. We don't, I still need some parts. I still need a body clip, which you can't buy new anymore. So I'm looking on eBay, trying to see if I can find one. I've already checked with a friend of mine who I thought might have one, but he doesn't have any, so I'm going to have to come up with one. But there's still some other stuff we can do. I need a timing plate, which I can still get. If I can't get that off of eBay, I'm just going to order it. Um, and then some other things. So what we're going to do today, and as you can see, I'm not in the hobby room. This is the room that's right next to the hobby room. The hobby room's just on that side of the wall there. This is our storage room where our furnace and our we store some stuff in here. It's also... The thing that I refer to is my fab shop bike shop. Um, this is, as you can see, I've got my a drill press. I've got a grinder in here, and I've got a, a, a skill saw in here. This doesn't work. That needs a new needs new uh, brushes for the motor. But I'm going to buy a hobby one of these at income tax time coming up. And we're going to, it's going to be in here for doing scroll work and stuff on plastic. And then as you can see, as I pan the camera over here, this is where my, kind of dark but these are where we, our bikes are as you can see we're a big biking family so what we're going to do in here get the camera adjusted right there we're going to drill take a, a piece of of uh plastic styrene um length here we're going to cut a hole in it and it's going to go where the pin right here on the the die cast body where it used to connect to the plastic bottom goes. We're going to make a hole so that can slide through it. And it's going to be mounted on the back of the chassis here. So it'll keep the body from going side to side. We're going to have to we're gonna try and maybe build it up a little bit too to keep it from riding on the, the wheels. But the, main, the body clip is going to be the main thing for that. This will keep it, the body from sliding back and forth and from side to side. So we're going to drill that right now. And I'm going to drill it right here, and then we're going to cut it to fit it to the back of the body. We'll see if that fits. No, I didn't think so. So we're going to have to go one size. We're going to have to go one size bigger. I've already got that one picked out, so we can... Do quick change here and get this get it lined up here. Oh, all right, that's not in there straight. All right, that's better. So we'll get this re re lined up here. Drill press comes in really handy when you gotta do stuff like this. It's a whole lot better than a than a drill press. Okay, I think by the looks of it, that might work. Might have to shape this end a little bit. Kind of grind that down a little bit to get the thing in there. So um Let's go put it on pause here, and we'll take this into the hobby room, and we'll do some more in the hobby room. So give me one minute here. All right. Back here at the table. We're going to cut this piece, and we're going to fit it, and we'll see if it that hole's big enough. So let's just shave some off the front. Make sure that that hole fits. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of carve the end of it a little bit there to make sure it. As you can see, it's gonna have to round the. We're gonna have to round the points on it. Really should get this out before I start this stuff, don't I? <laughs> All right, so let's kind of. 
brownies corner pieces off. A little bit. That should make it fit on there a little better. And then if you can see the body when I get it on here, as you can see, it's going to be awfully close to the chassis right there. So we probably... Let's line this up. So that should be where we cut it. Almost lost my saw. All right, so hopefully, should be right there. Kind of carve it up a little bit here. Get that out of the way a little bit. So that should fit right like that. And then we'll glue it, we'll super glue it to the chassis, make sure it's all lined up. Get the super glue out here. And it's probably going to be right up here on the top. So let's. This one's almost empty. I'm going to let it get down to the bottom here. A little dab of super glue right there. And we'll get this on here and get it centered. Turn it up like this and we'll let it sit for a few minutes. And hopefully that'll stick. And we'll get that. Hopefully that'll stick and we'll let that sit for a few minutes. So um, let's bring this back up here. And thought I'd show you guys a few things that were built before I had the internet for the track. Um, I thought I'd bring this over here. This... As you can see, comes off. I made this so we can take it right off. This is the hotel that I, I believe, took. Oh my goodness, this took a while. Um, at least a month and a half, maybe two months to build. Um, it's completely, as you can see, it's completely hollow on the inside. Um, didn't have to use, as you can see, I did not have to use any bracing on the sides of the building because there's so much going on on the front side here. Um, I started with this side. I built this a side at a time. Started out with the longest piece of the back side. This is a full piece of plastic styrene, height and width wise. It's not cut down or anything. So this is what a whole piece of, and as you can see, if I turn it this way and if I push on it, it doesn't flex at all as you can see up in there there's a couple of of square pieces there and them square pieces run basically from this lip right here to here and then there is some other pieces on the sides here as you can see we turn it this way those sides are kind of popped out a little bit so it's got one whole piece, and then this whole center piece is one piece, this whole side piece, and this whole side piece is one piece. This whole piece here on each side is one piece. So it takes one, two, three, four, five pieces to complete this window right here. 
And then we've got the, uh, the two balconies here on top. A couple of these are left open, so it's like the windows are open. I may go back in one of these days and cut this out and make a little inset piece to go inside to make it give it a little more depth on there. I'm working on, as you can see on these large balconies on the end, I'm working on putting some flower baskets on the end of it. This down here is a piece off of a, off of a house that I had, that I used. Um, this is the main entrance into the, from the, this is the pool side of the hotel. This is the entrance back into the hotel. This right here is the pool bar. I still need to get a guy to go in the inside of there and some stuff for the shelves on the back. But, uh, that's kind of the gist there. This is the front side, the main entrance of the building with the with the awning on the side of it. The little guy standing there. I thought I'd just glue him in there for uh, height, for perspective purposes. Got the Cartier jewelry store in the front corner of the store. This is the side that faces the front of the racetrack there. Um, I got to do some work. Somehow my window... My windows here are missing. I had some clear plastic windows in there. I may one day cut these out and do something with the first floor so you got some depth in there so you can actually look inside the building and see what's going on. Um, the front piece, as you can see inside, that top piece there, that's actually this piece right here. So this whole build up here is hollow on the inside as well. So it's still a work in progress, even though it looks kind of done. I still got some things I want to do to it of some people to add in some balconies. As you can see, the balconies on this side are different than the balconies on that side. Kind of made them a little different. Give it a little variation on the side. And we've got the awnings and everything on there. And the walk-in, the painted the... This is supposed to be like a red carpet. But this was, this was the first uh, custom building I ever tried building by my by myself took to look at some pictures it's not based on any one building it's a couple of buildings i looked at um i looked at the building the what they call the hotel de paris in uh monte carlo it's right across as they come up the hill and turn into casino square you've got the casino hotel uh de paris is the one that's right off on the other side of the racetrack across from the casino and the, the whole Cartier thing is when you're going, when they turn that corner and start heading back downhill, if you look at a shot going back up that racetrack, you can see that Cartier jewelry store right there on the corner. That's what that's kind of based off. And there was also a hotel. Can't remember where it's at. It's in England somewhere that this is based off of a little bit too. So I kind of took those two buildings and kind of meshed them together to get the look I was going for. Um, uh, one of these days I'm going to get a battery for the clock so the clock actually works. And these are just, there's no windows or anything in here. This is just a decorative inset right there that's on there. So there's still still some things I might want to do to it. I'm still working on a couple of things there. Um, well, I wanted to show you guys, I was talking about that other that other uh, piece I was working on. That I wasn't going to show on camera. Um, it's not completely done. I still got to glue it in there. But this is the new entrance to the to the parking garage there as you can see this piece isn't this piece isn't glued in yet i want to get another piece of the board that i'm using the mdf to go inside there to make the road look like it goes in further but this piece here is separate from this and it kind of matches our matches our wall that we finished up in the last episode so it kind of gives it a continuous look i'm re Considering, considering repainting this wall to this color and redoing the rock on it just so it, it kind of matches. But if we, uh, if we come over here and take a look at the wall from this side of the racetrack, it looks really nice. So we we'll have to continue working on this a little bit. I want to come over here. I put this piece here to cover this piece up. And then the next piece I'm going to have here is going to take care of this gap that's right here. It needs to be re-glued down. Now I'm going to redo this whole wall here behind these buildings. Give it a more continuous look. More, more, um, more European and more continuous. So it looks like one. Looks like it's all from the same era. Um, I'm probably going to redo the wall here behind the tire corral. Just this part from here to here. 
This will probably stay here. May repaint this. We're going to be redoing this here. Making this look more like the other one. And then the other one on the other side as well. Take care of that. Get that taken care of. This will probably all stay the same. I'm not going to change this. I really like this. That was one of the things that I really liked. That used up most of that that uh, uh, plastic truck that I bought when I first bought that very first piece. That's where most of it went was right there. So let's come back over here to the table and we'll see if that got dry or not. Put that up there. Go put the hotel. We'll set the hotel right there. I'll put that back on in a little bit. So let's see. Woo little tippy. Little tippy. Almost fell on my ass. All right. So, and there we go. And we've got that glued on there now. May put a little, let the uh, super glue dry a little more. Put that on there. But this should, it'll keep it, as you can see, it'll keep it from moving side to side. That's just the, the axle moving. But it'll keep it from moving side to side and back and forward. So we've got that. And we've got it pretty well centered from side to side if we move that up that's going to roll really well when we get the body clip in it's going to move it up just a hair and then the body clip will also keep it from going from side to side this way as well so that's going to work really well as soon as i can find one i gotta find one on ebay because as you can as you know the mega g is really taken over for for the super g and i don't know personally i i like the the super g a lot better i can my uh my car that i race with whether i'm running an indie body or a full body works a whole heck of a lot better than than a mega g um as a I, it's just for i can just make it handle better I, something we might try on an episode though um, I have a couple of Mega G's. I've got uh, one Indy car and three full body cars. Um, we may have to try what I did with my my Super G. My Super G, the one I race, is completely bone stock. There's bone stock parts. The only thing that we're allowed to change within our group is we've allowed to change the rear tires um, because if you had, let's see, do I have that one in here? No, I do not. I don't know where my rear axle went. Let me, let me look here real quick. You had that, the Mega G that actually had a hollow rear tire and then had the little spook ups on the rear end. Those things absolutely suck. And I had, that was, I think that was what this car had. And I changed it off and put BSRT dual flanged wheels on it with the slip on tires, with the silicone slip ons. And that really made a difference. That car hauls right now. It lowered it a little bit more to the racetrack. Just a tad, and it also has dot magnets for the traction magnets on it. So it's, um, uh, let's get it out here. It's actually got the IndyCar body on it right now. But as you can see, it's awfully low. You can see the, the traction magnets are really scraped on there from riding so close to the racetrack. But this car with my, G, my GT40 Mega, Mega G body on it just hauls like nothing. But I've never been able to get my the mega g's to handle like that and we may have to try that on the next episode we may have to do a little t little test and tune session for the next episode and uh, uh show you how to we can show you how to put some of those on i've got a few i've got a few of those that i ordered from my last order that i haven't used yet and i've got some tires and we might have to try that the next episode and compare uh so they're a little more compatible between the two of how they're set up and see which one does better between a mega g or a super g we can, well, I will think, I think, as a matter of fact, I think that's what the episode's going to be. Hopefully, we'll get some more parts for this car, and hopefully, I can come up with a body clip, and we can work on that some more. Um, I think we're going to have the body clip. We're going to glue it to this, and we're going to cut the beam that goes across, so it'll actually be attached to this, so it flexes a little bit, and this will this will sit right on top of the body, and then we'll have the flanges on the outside that'll go up against the body. And we'll put some stops in there so we can get the ride height the way we want it. So I think we'll do that the next episode. Um, something else I wanted to do today, just because I wanted to do it. I've seen some other videos of other things. Been getting some ideas for the channel from other, other sources. 
kind of looking at what they do and stuff. So let me put the camera on pause and we'll get this reset up and I'll show you a couple things. All right, there we go. Thought I'd show my work. This is my work area. Um, coffee cup. Gotta have a coffee cup. Car we're working on on the video. Um, this is my slot car box. These are my drawers for my parts for my car, slot car parts. And then down here, I've got these drawers down here. It's got some more stuff in it. And I've got some more stuff underneath my table that I'll show you in a minute. We'll start down here at this end. This is my all my paints and stuff. I've had this tester's paint station for like forever. Uh, my paint brushes and stuff and stuff in the back. On the first drawer here, we'll pull these all the way out and I'll bring it over here to the camera and we can see what we got in here. This has got some more of my paints in it that don't fit on the rack. My my Tomei paints that are too big and the, the testers Model Master paints that don't fit in there. My pins and some markers and my sharpener and some erasers there. And then in the front over here are my tools. My scissor, my my the, the jig for cutting plastic, my... Uh, round sits for cutting round plastic. I got some extra uh, box knife blades in there. Some of these for holding stuff together. Some other, say a couple other exacto knives and whatnot. Um, the next drawer down here is where all the paper decals. A couple of rolls of, got a couple of rolls of, you know, scotch tape for taping stuff off for painting. And then we've got these, the paper insets that come with my buildings and whatnot in there and some of the dots for racing a couple other things in the back back here are just decals these are all large decals from my star trek stuff i'm also doing that and then some of my model car decals from the big cars are in that drawer and in the bottom drawer this is all some of the spare parts and leftover parts from building the buildings. Um, uh, uh, Fuller that builds these, they send a lot of extra parts because they use some of the same sides and stuff for other buildings and you just change the parts on them. So these are all the spare parts from that that I'm keeping to use on other things like the hotel, the, the flower pots for the hotel are coming from that. So we move over here, I got some stuff right in here, my rubbing alcohol for cleaning the track, my glue for the, the uh, Plastistruct glue, um, super glue, my BSRT oiler is over here. Um, this is the stuff I used to put on my paper signs and stuff on the, uh, on the walls and whatnot. This stuff works really good, this Scott's quick dry adhesive. This stuff works great. I was using uh, rubber cement before, and it was kind of messy and, and started peeling up and whatnot, but that works really well. Let's see here. Let's move the camera a little closer here. My new trusty tripod set up here. Um, this, is my, this is my slot car box. Um, the top half of it's got my, my controller. It's got a couple of tune-up kits in here. Some more Super G, Tomei Turbo pickup shoes, whatnot. Down below here, my my race this is my race trailer right here. Top drawer's got my tools and more spare parts. Some stuff across the front here. Uh, one of my one of my ma uh, magnet traction cars that I need a new front axle for. Um, Trans Am body in here, some other, some Q-tips, and the nail file for scrubbing down tires, and battery for testing and whatnot. My wheel presses in here, some tires and other stuff. Uh, next door down, and we start with my cars. Um, these are my, my uh, T-Jet Fairgrounds cars. My Frey cars are in the next set. My stock T-Jets are in here. Uh, my Auto World or Johnny Lightning cars are in here. Got three of those in here. This is a car we call a, a Frightening, which is basically a Johnny Lightning body with fray rules. Uh, my my IndyCar Super G is in here, and my IndyCar Mega G is in here. I also put some other cars that go right here that are on the layout. Uh, next drawer down is my, my couple more... My other, my full-bodied Mega G, the Mercedes, um, a, ooh, where'd that come from? 
my uh, this is my one of my Tome turbo cars. A um, couple of extraction Johnny Lightnings in here. My non mag car, my original non mag AFX cars in here. My specialty chassis, specialty chassis mag uh, magnet traction cars in here. Uh, my ma my magnet traction, regular magnet traction racing cars in here is another one that goes there. It was my full body, my this is my actual race chassis full body G plus car. Uh, the one on the layout that you guys see that's got the the Ferrari the BP body on it. That's my other one. It's it doesn't run as well as this one does with that body on it. It kind of pushes it in, and it doesn't make it run very well. Um, this is my other my other Indy or Formula One. G plus the other ones over there with the Ferrari body on it. My truck, my Magna Traction trucks in here. Um, they one of my X Traction Ultra G's, and then my two full bodied out of the package. One of my two of my full body. The other ones over on the layout of the both the Audis from the Mega G's sets are in here. And then the bottom drawer has basically this is my Tyco and Lifelike drawer. I've got my Tyco Pro over here. Uh, my XP2 is on the racetrack. A um, couple of uh, 440X2s. My dirt track car body, bodied one. Um, this is my HP7 Tyco. A couple more IndyCar 44X2s with the narrow chassis. And then my. All of my lifelike cars are in here as well. So that's my slot car box. Um, over here is my parts, the uh, the parts bins, as you can as you can see here. I try got them sectioned off like uh, T Jet and some other stuff here. My my mag my Magna Traction cars got a couple. Only got a couple of of G Plus or. Uh, T-Jet chassis unused left that are brand new, unused. Two of them are lighted. Um, these are my good magnet traction bodies and uh, Tomei turbo bodies that are in here. The drawer below it is my Tyco, some Tyco bodies. Got a couple other, these are more parts AFX bodies that are in here. And then I got a drawer over here that's got T-Jet it's got a bunch of used T-Jet bodies in it that we need, if I need parts or whatnot for. Pullback chassis from some of the bodies and whatnot. Try and keep everything kind of separated so I know where everything's at. Uh, this, These are the parts, what parts I got for that chassis that we're working on. I still got to get the timing thing that I can, that I can get that from. And then I, you know, the body clip that I'm still trying to track down. So that's, that's my work area right there. Um, if we lower the camera down, let's uh, put this on pause. All right, there we go. Now we're down here. Let's uh, bring this out a little more. This is under my table. Get this chair out of the way. As you can see, I got more storage. Got my toolbox over here. This just has some tools, some hammers, screws, some tools up here in the top that I use here and there. Not really hobby kind of stuff. Got some storage down here for some model boxes and whatnot. Um, as you can see over here, got a couple of things here. This is this has got Hot Wheels in it that I'm planning to do something with. My jewel boxes for my from the cars that I bought. These have some pullback chassis in them with some bodies on them that I'm not using right at the moment. This right here is another another box of parts, building parts that won't fit in the drawer up there that I'm saving from Fowler. You can see there's for what if I need more building building parts or whatnot. Um, these are my this is the two drawers here. This is where all my all my plastistruct packagings are at, my parts and pieces and you know, cut pieces for spares and whatnot. Got some some of the tiles from the tile work that I was doing saved in there that I've already got pre-cut. Uh, next drawer down has my spray paints and stuff in it. Um, these these are my 
artist rattering artist inks I use these for the pool cover to make the water on the pool and then in the bottom just has some spare parts here and there some dowels uh, my foliage for the track the stuff that they send in the Fowler kits to make flowers uh, a couple of pieces, one of the other sign from the two set sign that I bought for the gas stations down here. Now, the big drawers have got some storage in it. That's where I keep my, my big cutter for cutting my plastic and my rulers. I got another got another saw, got another saw in here. My, my templates and whatnot for making circles and everything are in here. Uh, next drawer down here is purely solely junk drawer. Um, all kinds of parts in here from my childhood tank body a couple of bolt holes that I might you know be able to build a couple more yachts with um, the rest of that tank a couple of race car chassis in here and truck tires <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff in here little tiny little tiny parts anybody need a, a Ferrari v12 flat 12 block <laughs> got one right there. I wish I wouldn't destroy that car as a kid. And then, as you can see, that drawer is kind of full. And then the bottom drawer, this is all my Star Trek stuff. Um, I'm a big Star Trek fan, and I do some do some ships and whatnot. I got some complete uh, nacelles and some other stuff in here. So that's another another hobby of mine. So that's what's under the table, and that's. Uh, what we got going on so uh hope you guys have a good week hope you enjoyed the episode i know we didn't do a whole lot today uh we still got to get some parts and stuff but at least we got it started um next episode i think we'll we'll probably do that comparison between a g uh, super g and a g and a mega g we'll see kind of the things all we'll do that on camera i'll put the tires and wheels on it on camera and whatnot and we'll see what that comes out to that's gonna be kind of interesting so I um, hope you guys have a good week, and I'll keep looking for the parts we need, and I'll talk to you guys in two weeks. Have some fun. I know it's summertime, but keep, uh, keep it safe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.